We are gathered here united by God as a family in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And your Good, morning. Good morning. We live in the world, but we are not of the world. We belong to God. And we should give whatever belongs to God. So in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask the grace of God to be able to give everything to God, especially the thing that belongs to God. As we start our Holy Eucharist, let us ask the grace of pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, whose providence never fails in its design, keep from us, we humbly beseech you, all that might harm us, and grant all that works for our good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, wait for, the, wait for and hasten the coming of the day of our God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to his promise, we wait new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you wait these things, be eager to be found without spot or blemish before him at peace, and consider the patience of our Lord as salvation. Therefore, beloved, since you are forewarned, be on your guard not to be led into the error of the unprincipled and fall from your own stability but grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord. You have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn back man to dust, saying, Return, O children of men, for a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Seventy is the sum of our years, or eighty, if we are strong, and most of them are fruitless toil, for they pass quickly and we drift away. In every age, O oh Lord, you have been our refuge. Fill us at daybreak with your kindness, 
that we may shout for joy and gladness all our days. Let your work be seen by your servants and your glory by their children. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. May the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ enlighten the eyes of our hearts that we may know what is the hope that belongs to his call. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Some Pharisees and Herodians were sent to Jesus to ensnare him in his speech. He, they came and said to him, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man and that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion. You do not regard a person's status, but teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Should we pay or should we not pay? Knowing their hypocrisy, he said to them, why are you testing me? Bring me a denarius to look at, they brought one to him and said to them, Whose image and inscription is this? They replied to him, Caesar's. So Jesus said to them, Repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. They were utterly amazed at him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise One evening during uh, dinner in our community, we talk each other. And one theme or one topic we were talking about was being a right, a righteous person. And uh, I mentioned to uh, Father Alex or Father Dominic during uh, dinner uh, in the table, so uh, I am a good person. I just made fun of them. And uh, Father Dominic and Father Alex immediately replied, yeah, you are good when you are sleeping. <laughs> and you know, sometimes in our life journey, we separate our life, our daily life, from our spiritual life. Just take an example. When we are in the church, or when we come to church, we are pretty good. We can be silent, we keep quiet, we are at peace when we are in the church. But are we still at peace? Can we keep quiet or silent when we are outside the church. It is very fundamental question for each one of us because to this gospel, Jesus reminds Pharisees and Herodians that their life must not be separated especially their faith and also their daily life. We have to pay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. But 
we also have to pay to God what belongs to God. And Jesus mentions about the image. If the image is the image of Caesar, give it to Caesar. But if the image belongs to God, give it to God. How about us? What image do we have or do we belong? We are the image of God. All human life is the image of God. That's why our life is not of the world, but our life belongs to the world. And we have to give it back to God. The more we love God, the more we become responsible because we already know to whom we belong. So if we know that we belong to God because in us there is God's image and inscription, so our life should be given to God. So in this Holy Eucharist, let us ask, the grace of God to be able to put our faith in our daily life, not to separate our faith from our daily life. We are good not only while we are praying or in the church, but we are good all the time. May God bless each one of us. Knowing that God is merciful and kind, let us pray for the sake of all people. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, consecrated life, and sacramental marriage, May the Lord strengthen his children in virtue and nurture them in holiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For elected officials, may the Lord help them in serving with integrity, safeguarding human life from conception to natural death. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For farmers and farm workers, may God protect them in their labors and send adequate rain and sunshine for fruitful harvests. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For this community of faith, may the love of Jesus create in us a spirit of hospitality and welcome to all who enter here. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died, may God reward them with eternal gladness in his presence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who serve in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. And for Ivan and Vi Driscoll, for, uh, for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Lord, hear our prayers, and we offer all our prayers to you on the altar, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed 
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit on the wine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Trusting in your compassion, O Lord, we come eagerly with our offerings to your sacred altar. That through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the very mysteries we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his patience, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is the Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Archbishop, all the clergy, and all your people. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith, hope, and love of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body of Christ keep us for eternal life.
Let us pray. Governed by your spirit, we pray, O Lord. Thus you feed with the body and blood of your Son, that professing you not just in word or in speech, but also in works and in truth, we may merit to enter the kingdom of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, Novena to Saint Anthony. O glorious Saint Anthony, safe refuge of the afflicted and distressed, who by a miraculous revelation has directed all those who seek aid to come to thy altar with the promise that whoever visits it for nine consecutive Tuesdays and despiously invokes thee will. I, a poor sinner, encouraged by this promise, come to thee, O powerful sin, and with a firm hope I implore thy aid, thy protection, thy counsel, and thy blessing. Obtain for me, I beseech thee, my request in this necessity. But if it should be opposed to the will of God and the welfare of my soul, obtain for me as shall be conducive to my salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, work without end. Amen. Pray for us, O Blessed Anthony. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who did glorify thy faithful confessor, Anthony, with the perpetual gift of working miracles, graciously grant that what we confidently seek through his merits, we may surely receive through his intercession. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. O Jesus, my Savior, who did to in the form of an infant, I implore thee through the love thou didst bear to the saint when he dwell on earth, and which thou now bearest to him in heaven. Graciously hear my prayer and assist me in my necessity, who lives and reigns toward without end. Amen. Saint Anthony, our patron and our advocate. Saint Anthony, powerful in word and work. Saint Anthony, attentive to those who invoke thee. 
St. Anthony, glory of the church and honor of the Franciscan order. St. Anthony, whom the infant Jesus so much loved and honored. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Through the intercession of Saint Anthony, may God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Go in peace to love God and one another. Thank you, God. Oh, sacrament.